Hi everyone, Justine brooks Frolker here and it's Therapy Thursday and we are continuing our series on boundaries. So it's week two and um, I want to talk a little bit about people pleasing and caretaking and we might as well throw in some perfectionism there. And how are these related to boundaries? Because when we are people pleasing and caretaking and perfecting, we aren't respecting our own boundaries, right? And here's the deal, when it comes to people-pleasing, caretaking, and perfectionism, what do you think's underneath them? And I'm gonna burst your bubble here a little bit. It's shame. So Brene has a, a metaphor for perfectionism. When perfectionism is driving the car, shame is riding shotgun, and fear is the backseat driver. It's shame and fear. And I go as far to say that people-pleasing and caretaking is the same. There are ways that we armor up. There are ways that we earn people's love. There are ways that we think that we are worthy and enough when we are worthy enough just in our being and in loving people well. And we don't have to caretake them or save them or people please them and do everything for them and never respect our own boundaries. And so I want you to think about that. Like I'm tired of people wearing, oh, I'm a people pleaser or I'm a caretaker or I'm perfectionist. And they like, they say it with apology, but it's almost like it's a badge of honor. And it's not, call it what it is. It's shame and struggling with your worthiness. You're struggling with your not enoughness. What would it be like for you to actually take care of you first so that you had more of this full, full vessel to give and love from. And you can't do that when you are people pleasing, caretaking, and perfecting. These are ways that we actually push people away because we're not living our true authentic self. We're not standing our sacred ground. So it's not our truth. We're not authentically connected with someone when we're people-pleasing, caretaking, or um, perfecting. That's not your true self. It's from this place of scarcity and shame and not enoughness. So what I want you to do before you say yes, when you really mean no, before you go above and beyond with that person that never gives back to you, and this is not a scorecard. We don't keep scorecards in relationships. They never work out. Relationships are an ebb and flow, a give and take. It's not a scorecard. And if we're keeping score, then your tank's not full, like Gary Chapman would say in like the love languages. And you can apply the love languages to friendships and to romantic relationships and to your, your relationship with your children. But like when our tanks are full, when we're truly connecting with someone and we are loving them from our own authentic truth and we are respecting our own boundaries, meaning that we're not people pleasing, caretaking and perfecting, we are going to be coming from this place of authentic love and connection and compassion, which means more trust is built and the relationship will grow deeper and you'll be more engaged and you'll stop being so resentful. So that's what I got for you today. Are you a people pleaser, caretaker, or are you a perfectionist? Are you all three? And dare I ask you to call that what it really is, shame. Are you willing to change it? I'll see you next week. We'll have more on boundaries. Thanks so much.